Your move. Your chance at the best is right in front of you. Fuck, he's covered in fucking blood. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my god. Oh. oh. Holy fuck. This is what the fuck I'm talking about right here. Let's get this shit. Oh. Oh my. Holy shit. I, I can't believe I fuck like I can't believe I fucking own this. Holy shit. Oh my god. That's right, motherfuckers. He's finally here. Like holy shit. I am so damn excited. If y'all have followed me on Insta, then you know just how bad I've wanted this figure. Like, I wanted this figure before Storm Collectibles even got the license. I always thought Storm would be the perfect company to make him because of how well their Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and King and Ashura figures are. And the day I saw that Storm Collectibles was making Baki figures, I lost my shit. I could not believe it, because that means that I can finally get my dream figure, Yujiro Hanma. When they first teased Yujiro, I about flipped the shit. The main thing you could see was his demon back and damn, did it impress me. After seeing a teaser, my hype increased, and then on a random summer night, I checked my phone and could not believe it. The official promo pics for Storm Collectibles use Rohama. It was exactly how I envisioned him to look. He looked so freaking badass. I instantly dipped into my Yujiro fund and got one on the Storm Collectibles website. I had to use their website because if you use them, you will get your fig before anyone else. I learned that the hard way with Baki. After purchasing, there was only one thing to do. Wait some more. And he's finally here. I am so excited to share this figure with y'all. Let's get the review of the Ogre Go. Yujiro's box looks really badass. It's covered in a blurred background of a crowd fighting in a stadium. On the box, there's also a really cool headshot of Yujiro right on the front. Also, you can see the logo for the show. It says for ages 17 plus, so parents, please do not buy this for your 12 year old, please. On both sides of the box, you can see the same image of Yujiro. Then, the back of the box fully showcases the figure, the accessories, and the different poses you could do with him. The box is really cool, but I'm getting impatient, so let's now free the ogre. I'm honestly speechless. This has been a dream figure for a very long time, and now he's here. I'm in literal awe. He's so fucking beautiful. Also, as y'all can tell, he has no clothes on. He comes like this right out of the box because you have to put his clothes on yourself. So first, we're going to go over the appearance of the figure without the clothes, and then go over the appearance with the clothes. And I will cover the accessories, articulation, and figure comparisons after all that, so grab y'all's popcorn because this is going to be a long one. As I said, right out of the packaging, Yujiro has no clothes on, and wow. Look at this shred of physique. They captured Yujiro's insane proportions perfectly. Yujiro has a huge chest that reminds me of two walnuts just chilling side by side, and his huge shoulders look like some pumpkins. His abs are greatly defined, and his waist is very tiny. His legs are massive. He has nice detail in his quads and hammies, and he has huge ass calves, like damn. He even has a cute little Yujiro booty. Also, I'm thankful that uh, these trunks aren't cloth or anything because I do not want people exploiting Yujiro and showing his butt cheeks like they have done with Baki. And the most important part of any Yujiro figure is the demon back, and they did a phenomenal job on his back. Like, it literally looks like it was ripped from the series. This is just insane. It scares me of how accurate it is. And then he has a six pack on his lower back. And also, the sculpting goes up through the torso, so that's really nice. So whenever you do pose him, you ain't gotta have any kind of hindrance with the sculpt. Yeah, I know this dude's got muscles where muscles shouldn't be. It's like he's finna step on stage for the Mr. Olympia. For the look of his body, they nailed it perfectly and I couldn't even ask for anything else. Now, the trunks I did notice an issue with. The paint on the rubber will rub off onto the legs when you move them. Thankfully though, so far, I've been able to scratch it off. But, I still don't like having to worry about parts of my figure getting stained. So that's definitely a bummer. Also, I know Yujiro's head looks like it sits too low, and it's only on this head for some reason, and the rest of them are fine. 
Now, let's put Yujiro's clothes on, and let's just say it's not the easiest thing in the world, but I'm going to show y'all how I do it, and the best way to put the shirt on in my opinion. Now for the pants, I have no best way except to struggle and gradually make progress. First, let's put on the pants. When I originally tried putting on the pants, I felt like an idiot. I could not figure out for the life of me how to get his belt loose. Well, it turns out the belt is supported by buttons, and so you undo the buttons and then open the waist up. Also, make sure to take the feet off first. Then you're going to put both legs in, try to push them close together, and tediously shimmy the pants up till they are on. I noticed that flipping the figure upside down to do it helps a lot. It takes a little effort, but I'm fine with that because when the pants are on, it's all worth it. Like, wow, look at how freaking badass he looks with his pants on. They fit perfectly. They hug his ankles, are baggy around the thigh and calf area, and are nice and snug around his waist. The pants also have pockets, so Yujiro can put his hands in his pockets. And of course, you have to put his shoes on to complete the look with his pants. Sadly, on the front of both of my shoes, there are some sort of paint chippage on them, so that's ass. Now let's complete the look even more by putting on his shirt. His shirt first gave me issues, because I tried to put it on like any normal person would, but then I remembered Storm Collectibles arms can pop out easily, so I found a way more easy and efficient to put on his shirt. All you gotta do is pop his arms off and slide them through his sleeve holes, and then slide the shirt on over his torso, make sure his head is popped off, and then once the shirt is on his torso, pop the arms back on into the body. Put the head on and bam, his shirt is on and his look is complete. I am so happy that they made his shirt fit snug like this because it wouldn't look right if his shirt was baggy, but instead they made the shirt out of a stretchy material that shapes to his torso, and it looks amazing. His shirt hugs his arms really snug, and you can see his chest popping out from the neck of the shirt. One thing I noticed with the shirt is that you might want to tuck it into the belt, or it can sometimes show some skin. I'm so glad they made his clothes removable though. Yushiro has had many appearances with his shirt or pants off, so it's a great way of the freedom to recreate any scenes that we want. Overall, the appearance of this figure is perfect, like it is spot on. There's nothing I can say wrong about it. His proportions are insanely accurate, he has nice detail in all throughout his muscles, his clothes fit perfectly, this figure is just a straight up masterpiece. And now, let's go over this masterpiece's accessories. Usual comes with a decent amount of accessories. First he comes with four beautiful interchangeable head sculpts. The first head he comes with is a neutral expression head. Now I mentioned earlier, it sits a little low, but I think it's because his peg holes cut a little too deep, so you can actually just sit the head to a point where it looks normal, and it'll still move around and look fine. Also, this head is different from all the rest, as the hair is down and not messy or crazy. This dude has been mewing for a very long time. Beautiful face. The next head Yujiro comes with is a sinister evil grin. This face honestly scares me. Like damn, he looks intimidating. Like imagine he's just behind you making this face. Scary as fuck, right? Then the third head he comes with is an angry frowning face. This face is really scary as well. Look at them veins, like holy shit. Those are some full on dick veins, like those things look menacing as fuck. Then finally, the last head Yujiro comes with is a shocked aroused face. Yujiro makes his face when a good challenge comes his way. I really love how expressionate his face is and how spiked up this hair is. Actually, all the heads have different sculpted hair as well. So like the evil grin and angry face's hairs might look the same from afar, but they're actually sculpted differently. And all of Yujiro's hairs have a nice dark color and sculpted details to really make this hair look even better. The faces also have all of his jaw muscles nicely sculpted on, because we all know Yujiro's been mewing for a very long time. I can't complain about the heads at all. They all look so damn amazing. Now, would I like just a normal grin head or a laughing one? Yeah, I would, but I'm still 100% satisfied with these heads as they were done phenomenally. Yujiro Den comes with 7 pairs of interchangeable hands. He comes with 2 fisted hands, 2 relaxed hands, 2 grappling hands, 2 open hands, 2 open expression hands. The open expression hands can be used to help recreate Yujiro's demon back pose. 2 karate chop kind of hands, and then 2 hands I didn't even know they came with that are 2 finger pointing hands. Yujiro has a really good variety of hands and I'm very pleased with them. Yujiro comes with extra feet. I like that they did this so now when he is clothesless you can get the full look. And as y'all know, he comes with his clothes, but I don't really know if I would count them as an accessory because, I mean, he's supposed to have his clothes on. But, as y'all seen, you can take them on and off. Overall, Yujiro's accessories are sufficient and I'm happy with them. But, I wish Tabaki Storm Figs would come with some sort of fighting effect pieces like the King and figures. Because I feel like this figure would benefit from them greatly. But still, he comes with a good bit of hands and some really good heads. So, I am happy with the accessories, so now let's go over Yujiro's articulation. If you want to get stronger, do it. Morning, noon, and night, do it. Before and after every meal, do it. Do it till your body aches. Do it till you can't stand up straight. Do it till you're sick of it. 
Then do it some more. Do it! Just do it! Okay, for articulation, we're gonna go over his articulation without his clothes, and then we're gonna put his clothes on and go over the articulation on that have clothing over them. Usually his upper torso is made out of rubber, so his neck area can articulate, it's just covered up by his sculpted rubber neck. First, Yujiro's head and neck area can look up this far, this far down, and side to side really well. Next, Yujiro's butterfly joint doesn't get the best range of forwards because it's a big juicy pet, and it goes this far backwards. His butterfly joint isn't the best, but it's not the worst. Next, his shoulders can go up this far, he has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and standard wrist movement. He has upper diaphragm articulation, but mine doesn't want to bend forwards or backwards. To figure out why, I took the rubber torso off to reveal the diaphragm engineering. Here y'all can see how everything looks. It looks like the upper diaphragm for mine is really stiff, but at the bottom it moves fine. But that only adds a little bit of movement to the diaphragm. So I might soak the joints in hot water because trying to force the joint to move while the torso is on could possibly damage the rubber or break the joint. That's a little ass, but to be honest, I haven't really ran into any posing issues where I would need the extra movement, so to me, it's fine. It may look like his diaphragm could twist side to side, but that's just a floating rubber torso. Then Yujiro's waist moves really well frontwards, backwards, side to side, and it can twist really good. His legs can go up really far upwards, which is fantastic because now we can recreate his iconic high kick. But as we mentioned earlier, the paint from the trunks rubs off onto the legs. You can scratch it off, but I hate having to do that. Then his legs also go really far backwards, really far outwards, and be careful when moving the legs outward because the outside of the thigh can clip the trunks and pull them in. This can damage the rubber if you keep doing it. It's easy to catch while he doesn't have pants on, but when he has the pants on, it will be hard to know. Also, mine already has some wear and tear from this, so please be careful. Then he has a little bit of a twist at the upper thigh, but it's honestly really tight. He has double jointed knees that are a little limited by his calf and hamstring muscles, but it still gets a pretty good range. The ankles can go up, down, and rotate, and they also have a little bit of an ankle tilt, and he has a toe joint. Now, let's cover the articulation with his clothes on. His butterfly joint seems to get a little less range because the fabric is pulling the arms back some. His shoulders seem to go up almost just as far, but his shoulders will pop out if you push them too far upwards. His diaphragm either way is still not good. His legs can go a good ways forwards, but the pants do hinder his backwards and outwards movement. And as y'all can see, pushing his legs too far outwards will pop the torso off the joint, so be aware of that. Articulation with the clothes is still actually good and feels the same for the most part. For overall articulation, I would say it's good. It's not the best ever, but so far he's been able to get in just about any pose I've wanted to put him in. Also, Storm Collectibles aren't known for their articulation, and this one is probably the best articulation of any Storm Fig besides Baki. Now that articulation is done, let's do some figure comparisons. First, here is Yujiro next to his son Baki. I'm speechless. These are two dream figures and I finally have them. Words can't describe how happy I am. There's so much fun to be had with these two, but Yujiro does seem undersized or Baki just seems too big, because I thought this Yujiro figure was going to be bigger. But I think I'd rather just Baki be a little bit smaller since Baki is short anyways. But the scale still isn't horrible and I'm still very happy with these two. Next here is Storm Collectibles Yujiro next to Planet Toys Yujiro. Planet Toys Yujiro towers over Storm Yujiro. But damn, this is really crazy. It's been at least 20 years since we've gotten the Yujiro Hama action figure. This is history right here. I need to try to get the Haniyama because he honestly doesn't look that bad to me and recently I've been seeing that he's kind of a little bit more easier to get than he was in the past. Next here is Yujiro next to SH Figure Arts Young Gojo. And what I did was took Young Gojo's glasses and put them on Yujiro and it looks like the pool scene from the series when Yujiro wore goggles. Here's Yujiro next to Storm Collectibles King and Ashura figures and here he is posed using their effects. I wish him and Baki would have came with something like this because like it really brings the figure up to another level. Then here is Yujiro next to SH Free Arts Luffy. Here he is next to Figma Gon. Yujiro sense would go crazy if Gon ever walked by him. That'd be a cool fight. Here is Yujiro next to Frieza, and finally, I can recreate this one fan art that I've seen a few years back. Fuck, this makes me hype. Here he is next to Demonical Fit Martial Arts Forever. Then here's me playing around and having Yujiro ruin Goku's middle. For the last comparison, here is Yujiro next to SH Free Arts Z-Broly. These are easily my two favorite figures. Man, if I can only keep three figs, it'd be. Z Broly, Yujiro, and the Demonical Fit Goku. Gosh, I'm just so happy. Imagine Storm Collectible Z Broly. No, I'm playing, but imagine. For my final thoughts, all I gotta say is thank you, Storm Collectibles. Y'all have given me a dream figure that I never thought would exist. Thank you. This figure is amazing. This is exactly what I imagined when I said I wanted a Storm Collectibles Yujiro. My literal vision has came to life. The sculpt work is amazing, his proportions are perfect, and the different heads are done so damn good. And for some collectibles, this may be the best articulated figure they have made besides Baki. But he does have his flaws. First, after a while of moving his neck around, 
his neck will start to wear and tear and it'll get creases and cracks around it. And that's not good at all. Second, if you have his clothes on for a long period of time and then you take them off, he'll have black fabric all across his body, which you can easily wipe off, so it's not that big of a deal. Second issue is a big deal because when you take his clothes off, he'll have like plots of paint that look like that, like his paint has like melted or had like some kind of reaction with the dye on the clothes. And I feel like people might say putting the clothes on is an issue, but I mean, do you want the clothes to be baggy and not fit snug? So it's fine. Plus, if you do it the ways I've shown y'all, it will be fine. The fact that they made his clothes removable with an actual sculpted body with beautiful detailing is amazing. They could have easily just made it to where he only came with pants or he came with clothes that they were sculpted on. Instead, they made his clothes cloth. So I am very grateful that they did this. I'm grateful they even made this figure. Hope whoever they make next gets this kind of love that this figure was made with. Speaking of the next figure they will make, who do y'all think it will be? Let me know in the comments. Me personally, I'm thinking Oliver. I don't know why, but I just feel like he'd be next. The way this line sells out already, you think they'd get to work on making the entire cast because they would definitely sell. If they ever made a Yuichiro Hama, I'd shit. He's my favorite character in the show. And also, since Storm has made a Baki and Kingan figures, maybe we get some Hajime no Ippo figures next. I want a Takamura so badly. Okay, I'm getting sidetracked. Let's finish this video. Yuichiro is all I could ever want. This figure is fucking peak. I got mine on the Storm Collectibles website and got a second on Hobby Genki. Now, I think he might be sold out everywhere now, and your best bet would be eBay. And I'd say get this figure ASAP, because y'all seen what happened with Baki. He's expensive as fuck now, so get him before he's too hard to get. He's so fucking worth it. But yeah, this is the best figure ever easily. I'm sorry if I ramble too much, guys. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for the support. It really means a lot when y'all say y'all enjoy my videos. It keeps me going. So please let me know what y'all liked about the video and what I can improve on. And that's that. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. What are you doing, weaklings? Subscribe to Supersonic Racer 64. <laughs>